In the search and rescue, it's always dangerous for the first responders to enter into a space that they don't know. We learned that every year, a lot of firefighters got injured because of the unfamiliarity with uh, environments. I have been working on a couple of NIST and NSF funded projects. So what we are uh, thinking here is we can send a robot dog to an unknown space. The dog carries a LiDAR scanner and all different kinds of sensors. It scans the environment, it builds a 3D model, and we push the model to an AR, augmented reality goggle. So that will make the first responders like a Superman, and they could see through the walls before they enter into that unknown space. When it was the moment you see through the wall, it felt like science fiction. I really enjoy working with the smart students here, like all my graduate students. Um, they are the brain tank behind the story. We have a couple of PhD students uh, working on this project. They have to build a lot of things themselves. Of course, we can buy a lot of sensors, but uh, there's no off-the-shelf solution for us. Uh, and also, the students will need to somehow figure out a way to transfer data faster and more resolution. I have been working on virtual reality for many years. I think it will become the next platform to totally change human-computer interaction. And hopefully we can break the boundary between reality and virtual reality in the future, so everything will become natural, will become intuitive.